Hey everyone, LeBlanc is an assassin that has always been really hard for Riot to balance. She's insanely good in pro play, and every time they try to buff her in solo queue, she just gets too good in pro play, so they have to nerf her again. She can 100 to 0 people and instantly disappear, she sets up ganks better than any champion in the game, and she can do all of it with very little risk compared to most assassins. Her weakness is her wave clear, but with the recent buff to her, she can clear even cannon waves with ease now without having to waste her alt cooldown. Since LeBlanc is going to be much much better now, it seems like a good time to make a guide for her, so that's what I'm going to be giving you guys today. Everything you need to know about LeBlanc, from ability breakdown, to combos, to tips and tricks, you will have the knowledge to be a LeBlanc expert after this. And for everything else, there's skillcap.com. It's the fastest way to climb and get the rank you've always wanted. Our service is completely risk free as you're kept safe with rank up insurance. If you don't significantly improve while actively using Skillcap, then you get your money back, no questions asked. You can learn more at the end of this guide or check us out with the link in the description. Alright, now let's get started. First thing we're going to go over is LeBlanc's abilities. Just a quick rundown. Her passive, when she draws below 40% health, she turns invisible for one second, creates a clone of herself that can't be controlled. It doesn't do damage though. Her Q, LeBlanc Q has two parts. She throws it at someone, which does a little bit of damage. Then, if she hits anyone that she just hit with Q with another ability, it detonates the Q for a lot more damage. Her W, a dash that does AoE damage and gives LeBlanc the option to instantly teleport back to the initial spot where she used W from for 4 seconds. You're going to max this ability first, and max Q second, then E last. Then her chain, her E, a chain that does damage in 2 parts just like Q. If it lands, it tethers LeBlanc to the target, and if they don't get out of that range in 1.5 seconds, they get rooted, and you do the rest of the damage. So just like with Q, the second part does more damage than the first. And then her ult, all LeBlanc ult does is let you use the ability you used last again. So if you use Q, your ult turns into Mimic Q. This is the complicated part about LeBlanc, and we'll get into this and make it not so complicated. Alright, those are her 4 abilities. Let's get into how to play Lainey phases of LeBlanc. Lainey is the most important part of the game for any champion, but especially for assassins that need to snowball like LeBlanc does. I'm going to use a game where I'm playing against Mal's as LeBlanc to show you how to play her. Let's start with a few key fundamentals. Her level 1 trait. LeBlanc level 1 trait is always going to be the same thing. You should pretty much always look to do it as many champions cannot trade you at level 1. It's simple. You're looking to do auto, then W and auto again, and instantly go back by pressing W again. You want to press W a second time as soon as the auto comes out like you see me do here. This procs electrocute, and it does a really good chunk of damage for a level 1 ability, but it does have a high cooldown so you have to make it count. When your electrocute is down though at level 1, you want to just use W and auto like this instead. A tip for using her W, which is actually really important, you want to make sure you're getting the most range out of it, because as you can see here, it goes further than the range and it can make a huge difference when it comes to landing it or not. Basically just make sure your mouse is outside of the actual range indicator when using it so you get the maximum distance. Alright, now let's talk about LeBlanc's level 2, as it's extremely strong, and it can lead to a lot of solo kills, especially if you play level 1 right. Level 2, you want to grab your E. You want to W on top of them and actually make sure the W lands, as W is where a lot of your damage comes from early. My W is down here, so I just walk up and auto, then use E for a big chunk of damage, but with W, I actually would have killed him, as you can see. Alright, then at level 3, when you get Q, you get an insane amount of kill pressure. But, all the low LeBlancs mess up the combo, and it throws easy kills out the window. You have the enemy in kill range when your Electrocute and Ignite are up, and they are at 60% health level 3. The combo is simple. Most low elo players start with Q, then they use W and E. The reason why that's not good is, your Q has a cast time, and your W has a travel time. So if you use Q then W, they can walk out of range of your W and you won't have the damage. So you first jump in with W, and a really important tip or trick for LeBlanc here, is you want to W to a side of them, not right on top of them. If you W right on top of them, it can be easy to miss the E. If you W to the side of them like this, it's easy to land it. So after using W, you want to immediately use E, Q, and autos with Ignite. What happens is, the second part of the chain damage will pop the mark from Q. Also, you want to stand almost right on top of them, if you know they will die, because then they can't flash out of your E range. So when my E connected and I walked near Mal's, he was 100% dead, no counterplay. That combo is your main kill combo before 6 and your main trading combo. If your E is down, you can look for Q into W, especially versus melees. But for the most part, this is going to be your best combo. W into E, then Q. Alright, now let's move to level 6. The biggest mistake low elo players make with LeBlanc ult is they use Mimic W all the time. Mimic W is going to be the lowest damage choice of the three abilities. So you will have three different combos at level 6 that you can use. Each have a different purpose. The first, which is the one I use here, is the second most damaging combo. The key is using E, then Q, then R. Your R sigil will pop the first sigil, and then the chain will pop the second sigil. You can W first like I did, or at the end if they are face checking you and you started with E. I'll show you the other two combos, then I'll go over why I use this one here. 
The combo for the most damage is using Q, then E in autos, then Mimic Chain, then Q again. And just like the previous one, W before or after. This gives the most damage because you get a lot of autos in between and a second Q rotation. Then the other combo is when you're fed. It does the fastest burst, but the least damage overall. It's the easiest as well. You just do Q, R, W, and E before or after. But you normally use this one when you're trying to one-shot someone that's face-checking you and you know you have the damage to do it, like in this clip here. I wanted to catch the enemy support looking to ward, so I waited in the brush and used Q, R, W. While we're at this point in the game, I have another trick for you. Alright, so LeBlanc E can be buffered with flash like RE Charm. So if you're trying to flash and use E on someone, you want to press E first, then flash. Otherwise, it's really easy to react to since the E cast time and travel time is kind of long. It's important to note this doesn't work on LeBlanc Mimic's chain, only on the E. So for this kill on Ezreal, I did W, then E flash to land the chain, and as you can see, he couldn't even E out of the chain range. But then I used Mimic Chain with Q and finish him for the shutdown. Going back to why I used that specific combo on the Miles kill though, it's because I knew Mumu was there and I didn't have that much time to kill him to use the double chain one, so I had to use a combo with enough damage but fast, which was the double sigil combo. I wasn't fed enough to use the QRW one. Another combo that you use later in the game when looking to assassinate a ranged champion like an ADC is W over a wall, Q, R, E, then go back. This is the longest distance one shot combo. It's the safest, but it can be hard to land. And if you're not fed, it won't kill. But it's best at killing backline squishy targets. Anyways, the last thing when it comes to laning is a combo I learned a long time ago watching Faker play his famous LeBlanc. It's a combo that you want to use before level 11, because at level 11, your Mimic Distortion, your W, gets a lot more damage. So the combo is, first, you need to make sure you have Mimic Distortion ready. So your ultimate needs to have W on it. Then you use R to close the distance, Q, then W. The reason this combo is so good is you cover an insane distance and it lets you quickly proc electrocute and blink away to safety again. And your W does more damage than Mimic W until level 11. If you try to do W then R then Q, you don't pop the sigil without E. And while using E, you are vulnerable and Mimic Distortion doesn't do much damage. Once you're level 11 though, you can just do W then R on top as it gets a significant damage increase. The very last combo we'll talk about is less of a combo and more of a specific thing if you have to outplay or dodge skill shots or you're getting chased. Basically, you use two mimic distortions so you can either kite or dodge skill shots with them. For example, if someone was chasing me and I'm running through these brushes, I could do something like this. It's also good to use two Ws when trying to do a lot of AoE damage in a team fight, although it is rare. Or you could do the classic LeBlanc trick using the second distortion in the brush you jump to without them seeing so you can go back to it. Alright, now let's talk about the mid game. This is actually where those LeBlanc buffs hit the hardest and is the reason she's so good again. The change was, when LeBlanc kills something with Q, it refunds 100% of the mana cost and 30% of the cooldown. Also, Q gets bonus damage to minions. This also applies to the Mimic Q. Before, you would have to use your ult to clear cannon wave and it was awful. Wasting your ult just to clear one wave and it still take longer than some other champions suck. But now, you can just do QRW on the cannon wave like this. Because of the extra damage Q gets, your QRW will kill the cannon and the backline and refund 30% of the alt cooldown. So my alt was only a 16 second cooldown after using it here. This makes it so I can use it on the next cannon wave as well, which is huge. If you ever wondered why it feels hard to have high CS on LeBlanc, this was the main reason why. It took forever to clear waves, so you'd have to move to fights before being able to push all the way. Alright, when it comes to fighting in the mid and late game, LeBlanc becomes a poke assassin. She can one shot with the combos we talked about earlier, but what really makes her annoying and strong is the ability to jump in, use two abilities quickly to poke or chunk someone, then jump out. You will not always be starting over a wall. In this example, I'm over this wall and jump over with W, then use E on Olaf. I tried to use Q2 but was out of range. Either way, this is what you're looking to do. Then Malz walks around the corner, so I use Mimic R as my E and W were down, then I use Q and W to finish him. Right after that, I run up to here, again using the wall to jump over so I can safely return. I use E then Q on Renata because if I use Q first, she can react and try to dodge the E. I walk forward to dodge her ult, auto her one more time, and get the kill. Then I just use a simple QW combo to finish off Olaf. The key in team fights is making sure you are using W from a safe spot so you can always return to it and look for another rotation next time W is up. This is why Sweeper can be so important on LeBlanc. Make sure they don't know where you are so you can either get picks like I did in Renata when she face checked earlier, or just W over walls like in the team fight. When it comes to gameplay, that's basically it for LeBlanc. So let's wrap up everything with runes and items. When it comes to runes, you'll always be running Electrocute. You can run Ultimate Hunter or Treasure Hunter. You can run Taste of Blood or Sudden Impact. For secondary, you want to go Inspiration or Sorcery. Either one works. I like going Inspiration because of Time Warp Tonic and Cookies, even though they got nerfed, but Mana Flow and Transcendence work as well. 
for items, you're going to want to go to the standard Ludens into Shadow Flame, then Death Cap or Void, depending on how much MR they have, and always Magic Pen Shoes. You can also go Dark Seal and upgrade to Medize at 10 stacks, as Medize is really good on the Blanc with how hard she snowballs. You can start Doran's Ring or Corrupting Potion depending on the matchup. Alright guys, so that's basically it for LeBlanc. She's much better now that her wave clear is buffed, but she's still not the easiest champion or anything. We have everything you need to be successful on her from this video. For everything else, there's skillcap.com. It's the fastest way to climb and get the rank you've always wanted. We take the highest priority skills you need to learn to climb fast, such as wave control, and then break it down into a step-by-step -step course of bite-sized, one to two minute videos that are easy to understand. So while you wait for your next game to start, you can learn freezing, fast pushing, slow pushing, bouncing waves, the list goes on, all in just a few minutes to maximize your improvement rate. These courses have been getting 5 star ratings from all of our users, raving at how helpful they are. That's not all though, as every week we release 10 brand new smurf commentaries where a challenger player teaches you how to climb out of the exact rank you're stuck in. If you're looking for something more personal instead, then we got you covered with one-on-one -on -one coaching from our trained challenger experts. All this seems too good to be true? Well don't worry, we're backed by a rank up guarantee. If you don't significantly improve while actually using skill capped, then you get your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below, get the rank you've always wanted. So that's going to bring us to the end of this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.